What's going on YouTube? County Gaines back here again. So I'm going to be reacting to a bunch of different videos guys in the future. So lots of different TikTok videos, lots of different videos like that guys. So stay tuned for those. Today we're reacting to every type of Titan explained in Attack of the Titans. So Attack of the Titans guys is like a Japanese, is a Japanese manga series written and directed and illustrated by Hajime, Hajime Asayama. It's set in a world where humanity lives inside three, uh, lives inside cities surrounded by three enormous walls that protect them from giant man-eating humanoids referred to as titans. This is absolutely crazy. I actually kind of like this premise. And if I watch this and it sounds good, I'm going to be watching the whole series, guys, because it's on Netflix. Pretty easy to watch. So the story follows Aaron Yeager, which is hilarious because I've heard that name so much in recent, you know, recent times on YouTube, all over the internet. I didn't know who the hell it was. I thought it was a writer. It's actually a writer as well. But it follows this guy named Aaron Yeager who vows to exterminate the Titans after the Titans bring destruction to his hometown and death of his mother. So basically it's him in a big city and they're surrounded by three enormous walls. So big rock walls that the Titans can't get through. Pretty, pretty cool premise, guys. So we're going to get straight into this one, guys. Every type of Titan explained. Aaron Yeager tries to kill them all starting from season one. And then I think there's five seasons, something like that. So let's get straight into it, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Also, subscribe. This is Irish Guy reacting to every type of Titan. So, let's go. Please be advised and proceed with caution. Uh -oh. Starting things off with pure Titans. What the? Normally between 3 meters and 15 meters in height, <laughs> pure Titans are also known as mindless Titans because of their behavior. What pure the? Titans are the most common type of Titan and they will- So this is obviously a manga series guys, so kinda, kinda different. Mindlessly attack the nearest human in an attempt to devour them. Ugh. We know that Titans don't need to eat humans to survive. Titans appear to use some form of photosynthesis in order to convert sunlight into energy. Ooh. And the only time that- This seems absolutely unreal guys. I'm quickly getting into this. I think this is amazing. We see Seriously. Titans run out of energy is when they are deprived of sunlight for a long period of time. What? In line with the fact that titans don't need to eat to survive they do not have a working digestive tract once their stomach fills with human flesh that they consumed titans simply regurgitate the contents and look for more humans to consume Ugh. it is believed that the reason that titans eat humans is the fact that they are hoping to turn back into humans themselves by consuming a human who is a titan shifter oh. as was of course the case with emir from the 104th training corps that titans eat humans is the fact that they are hoping to turn back into humans themselves by consuming a human who is a titan shifter as was of course the case with emir from the 104th training corps she turned back into a human after 60 years of roaming around as a mindless titan after consuming marcel who Holy was the crap. possessor of the jaw titan power at the time as a result emir turned back into a human and became the possessor of the jaw titan and a titan shifter herself but more about titan shifters later all people who belong to the ethnic group known as the so if you eat a titan as a titan if you eat a human as a titan then you turn back into a normal human the subjects of emir or eldians can be turned into mindless titans if they are injected with titan spinal fluid Ugh. members of other ethnic groups are not affected like all other titans pure titans have the ability to quickly regenerate their bodies and heal even the most serious wounds the only what way the to hell? kill them is to cut the nape of the neck thereby destroying the central nervous system of the titan oh, next up crazy. are the wall so the only way to kill them is to we need to talk about your balls neck, because it destroys their central they nervous smooth? system all this covered is in the bits greatest series i've ever seen in my life i don't know what's going on so now we have the wall titans titans the wall titans are massive titans who resemble the colossal titan in both size and appearance these titans have the ability to harden their bodies and they are currently dispersed throughout the three walls and they are effectively making up the inner core of the walls. These wall titans are said to have been created by King Carl Fritz as a way to keep outsiders from interfering into the affairs of the isolated walled off kingdom. According to legend, Carl Fritz used the power of the founding titan to create tens of millions of these wall titans mm. and he then used them to build the walls. Due ah. to the fact that these titans are currently hidden away from sunlight they are dormant and inactive. This is but if the walls are destroyed and sunlight shines on the titans they could snap to life and potentially level the entire earth. 
I mean, just imagine millions of colossal titans roaming around, destroying everything before them. Holy However, crap. it is important to note that some sources like Rikao Yanagita's book about the science of Attack on Titans suggest that for all three walls to be filled with colossal titans, less than a million titans would be needed, not tens of millions. To be honest, less than a million is a much more realistic number, especially if we consider that unless the founding titan has another way to make titans that we still don't know about, each of these tens of millions of wall titans would have to have been a human being before becoming a titan. The idea that Carl Fritz what? sacrificed tens of millions of people to create the walls is less likely than the idea that he used less than one million. Personally, I tend to believe that if tens of millions of Eldians were available to be turned into Wall Titans, then it is hard to imagine how the enemies of the Eldians were able to overwhelm them in the first place. I mean, a nation of tens of millions of potential fighters would not be easy to subjugate in the way that the Eldians were apparently subjugated following the Great Titan War. What? But those are just some of my observations, we don't have full information about the history of Attack on Titan, at least not yet. Oh. Next up, we have the Abnormal Titans. Abnormal Titans are dis aborigines distinguished from pure Titans by their abnormal behavior. Unlike mindless Titans, Abnormals often demonstrate some form of intelligence, and several Abnormal Titans have even demonstrated the ability to speak and interact with other humans. What While pure hell? Titans this is crazy. This gets like crazier every single time. simply go after the first human they see. Abnormal Titans will often ignore the first humans they see and they will instead attack key strategic locations or places that have the largest concentration of humans. Abnormal Titans also demonstrate unpredictable abilities that most pure Titans do not, such as running after a target instead of simply walking or even jumping over obstacles in order to reach their target. Some examples of Abnormal Titans include the Talking Titan who spoke to Ilse Langnar during the 34th expedition, the Titan that used to be Connie's mother, and of course the infamous Smiling Titan. Now let's talk a bit about Rod Reese's 120 meter Titan. Holy the crap. ginormous Titan that is created when Rod Reese consumes the Titan Serum is usually classified as just another abnormal Titan. The but there are some hints that Rod Reese's Titan Man, could manga stuff is crazy. Japanese stuff is wild. Could be unique, and we have gotten enough questions about this Titan in particular to justify giving it some special attention. The Rod Reese Titan is the biggest Titan that we have ever seen, and at 120 meters in height, he is twice the size of the Colossal Titan. Aside from being unnaturally large, what? Rod Reese's Titan constantly generates steam so hot that it set nearby trees and shrubbery on fire as the Titan moved. Jesus. Because of its immense size and disproportionate body dimensions, the Rod Reese Titan was unable to walk upright and so he resorted to crawling on all fours in order to move. This but is, is Rod Reese's Titan just another abnormal who happened to grow unusually large what? by coincidence or is there more to this Titan? This Titan's behavior was in line with abnormal Titans. The Rod Reese Titan ignored the humans closest to him and headed straight for Orwood District, a population center with a large number of humans concentrated in a relatively small area. Weird. But there are a few hints that suggest that Rod Reese's Titan transformation was unique in some way. For one thing, throughout his life, Rod Reese was adamant about the fact that he cannot become a Titan. He didn't say that he didn't want to, he implied that he couldn't, as if he knew that something would go horribly wrong oh, yeah. if he did. Now maybe Rod Reese was just scared and that's the only reason why he wouldn't become a Titan and why he kept pressuring other members of his family to inherit <laughs> the founding Titan power. But there is it. also Someone the matter of Rod Reese's death. We know that in the case of pure and abnormal titans, the nape of the titan's neck contains only the spine of the human who had turned into that particular titan. Right. The rest of the body disintegrates or blends with the titan flesh and only the spine remains. But once this spine is severed, the titan dies. What? However, if we look back to the scene in which Historia deals the final blow to Rod Reese's titan, we see that Rod Reese's entire body appears to be still intact inside the Titan. 
As oh, yeah. Historia cuts through the nape of the gigantic titan's neck, we appear to see Rod Reese in the flesh and not just his spine. Ugh. As far as we know right now, the only type of titan inside of which the human body stays intact and doesn't disintegrate is a titan shifter. So Ugh. if Rod Reese's body remained whole inside the titan's nape instead of disintegrating, this would suggest that Rod Reese's titan was not just a regular abnormal titan, but maybe some type of quasi shifter part shifter, part abnormal, or something along those lines. Huh. There is also another odd discrepancy with the Rod Reese Titan. Holy crap. In the moment that she kills him, Historia appears to see some of Rod Reese's memories. Uh, and because of this, she appears to understand probably... some of Rod's true feelings towards her and his family. Now, this is not something that we see when a pure Titan or an abnormal Titan are killed, so this brief incident stuck out in my mind as well. It could be that Rod Reese's strange transformation is a result of the fact that he did not inject himself with the Titan Serum properly and simply licked it off the ground. What or it could be the result of the fact that Rod Reese has royal blood, or some combination of the two. At any rate, although Rod Reese's 120 meter Titan is officially classified as an abnormal, oh. there are some inconsistencies there, some features that this Titan exhibits that don't quite fit our definition of an abnormal Titan. Yeah, Since we don't know for sure, I want to ask you guys to give me your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think that Rod Reese's Titan is just an abnormal Titan that happened to grow unusually big? Or do you think that this Titan was some sort of strange mix between an abnormal and a Titan shifter? Let me know down below, abnormal. I'd love to get a good discussion going. And finally, the final type of Titan within the Attack on Titan series, the Titan Shifter. According to legend, nearly 2000 years ago, a woman known as Emir Fritz somehow awoke to the power of the Titans. Although the exact way that she attained her power is still a mystery. What? She is considered to have been the first Titan and the ancestors of all the subjects of Emir, also known as Eldians. Okay. Emir Fritz died 13 years after she first awakened to her Titan power. And after her death, her soul was split into nine different Titan powers that then passed on to nine different successors. The nine Titan shifters that were created include the Founding Titan, the Attack Titan, the Female Titan, <laughs> the Jaw Titan, Jaw the Titan. Armored Titan, the Colossal or Colossal. Alright guys, so I'm not talking too much, I'll talk after, I don't know what's going on. Sis Titan, the Cart Titan, the Beast Titan, and the Warhammer Titan. I go, so that's obviously a bunch of different times in this series. It's uh, pretty interesting. I might give a look. I think I might have just spoiled it all for myself there by actually watching how many Titans are in it, but still pretty fire. Each Titan Shifter has its own unique powers and abilities, and the powers of a Titan Shifter can be fully unlocked only if the holder of this power has royal blood. If you want to learn more about all 9 Titan Shifters and their specific powers, I will link a video down below and at the end of this video so you can check out all of that information because there is a lot of it. Wow. Also, if you want to see my theory for how Emir Fritz attained the Titan power in the first place and what the true origin of the Titans is, I will link my video on that particular topic in the description as well. Without getting into all of the specifics because we've already covered them in a pre- Alright guys, yeah, so that's basically every Titan explained. That's crazy. Attack on Titan. That seems like an absolute crazy documentary. Six million views. Apparently it's one of the most viewed shows on Netflix right now and even on TV as well. Absolutely crazy. Japanese manga series made into a cart, made into a actual show. So absolutely savage guys. So yeah, that seems super cool guys. Three different cities and yeah, I'm going to give that definitely a watch guys. So leave in the comments down below if you guys want me to do a reaction to more of the actual series as well guys. Like, comment, subscribe, love you guys all, and I'm out. Biaz.